I'm in the spotlight, playing with toys, that's right, fun with Layla. Hi guys, welcome to fun with Layla. So today, um, if you don't remember in my last video, I colored in a picture of Pumpkin Painter that I made. So now I decided I'm gonna make another one of them. So this time we're gonna have like different steps. And this time I'll show you guys how to do it instead of just coloring it in. Cause this is colored paper. So let's get started. First, you may wanna grab a pencil to start. And what you wanna do is draw a little circle. Now this one's gonna be pumpkin, okay? And now you wanna grab some scissors and cut it out. All right guys, I have my scissors now. They're little pink ones. And now let's cut this out. All right guys, I'm done with this one. Let's set it aside for now. Now we're gonna make a bigger circle and make painters like little base, I guess. So what I want you guys to do is grab your pencil again and draw a bigger circle, but do it after me so you get the, the gist of what I'm doing, okay? Alrighty, I have my pencil now with me. Now you wanna make sure it's a bigger circle, not too big. Now you want to make sure it's a, at least a little bigger than um, Pumpkin. So that one will not do. So we have to make it just a bit bigger. You want it like to be almost like a perfect size. Uh, mm, too flat, guys. Okay, sorry about this. Okay, let's hope this is the perfect one. Okay, apparently this one's gonna be the bottom one now. This is no longer painter. I meant pumpkin. This is now painter. Sorry about that, guys. All right, all right, pumpkin. Let's do this. All right, so here it is. Now I just missed a little bit of line right here, so there we go. All right, now let's see them together. Not glued though. Yes, we will use glue for this. Perfect. Now I'm thinking it'll be more like this or something. It looks more like them to me. So yeah, that's what I want to do. So we got them done. Now we're done with the orange. Which means we don't need that anymore. So next up, we need glue. If it sounded like I said blue, like the color blue, you're wrong. Because the fan is the fans are on. So sorry, but I said glue. Elmer's glue, not blue. <laughs> sorry guys, if you thought that. Now, what I want you guys to do is take the glue and we'll take it and Put it somewhere at the bottom of painter. So just like that. And now we put on painter. Oh, so cute, guys. We don't need the glue anymore. Now, here is a paper jack-o'-lantern I made. You can see the little triangles and stuff. So I'm just gonna have this in the background. Don't make um don't make them look like this, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do is take your black marker actually. I was about to say pencil, but then I was like, pencils aren't black, they're gray, right? So I want you to grab a black marker found it and we're gonna draw on the faces do it 
I'm going to do it first before you guys do it, okay? So let's get started with their faces. Let's start with pumpkies. First up, what you want to do, first up, what you want to do is add two little triangles and then color them in. Then make another one a bit smaller for the nose. And then you want to do this. Kind of like the drawing. And then color it in. Now he has some teeth. Yes, if you think that, if you thought that Pumpkin was a girl, it's actually a boy, guys. I don't know why you guys would think that, but if he did, that's not his gender at all. All right, moving on to Painter. So as you, rem if you saw my last video, go check it out because the eyes were actually these little curves because they were closed. And obviously you wanna color them in black because that's how they are and that's how it was in the drawing. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying drawing. It's a drawing. You wanna make a nose. And then basically the same exact smile as Pumpkin. I don't actually remember because they haven't been up in a while. But as you remember in the last video description, there will be another Halloween video coming very soon in a few weeks. So yeah. Now I'm gonna finish coloring these in and I'm gonna tell you guys the next step. So the next step guys is actually the witch's hat and then we'll be all done here. So now you wanna grab black colored paper. It's okay if you guys don't have this. You can just draw it if you want. You basically make an eight, but don't do the wee with the line in the middle. You wanna go woo. Like, I'll show you on the paper right here. Just that I gotta move Pumpkin and Painter first. Boop. So basically what you wanna do is make a shape like this. Ooh. But I wouldn't recommend doing like, I wouldn't recommend doing it with a marker. Do it with a pencil. I don't know if I spelled that wrong or right. Sorry if I spelled it wrong. But anyway, let's grab that black colored pa paper and I'll show you how to do this part. Guys, I don't have, I can't find any black colored paper right now. So I have this orange paper and I'll color a big section of it black with my black marker. But you're not, you don't know how big I'm gonna make this section. It's not even that big yet. Alright guys, I finished that up, so now you want to go like this, so right now I'm making a little uh, hat, a little hat. Mm -hmm. a bit higher. Sorry guys, you can't really see it. I'm just gonna do this kind of off camera, even though I'm still recording. I'm just gonna talk to you guys about uh, what you want to do for Halloween and what's your favorite candy. 
comment that down below, please. And we're done. Now we have to glue this on. The pumpkin's head. Alright, we have to glue this on, like I said. It looks like the inflatable itself, guys! Oh my gosh! Alright, we're bringing back Mr. Glue. <laughs> and obviously, the back is orange with some black blotches, I guess. much on there. Eek! I don't want it gluing to my table. So we're almost done. Now all we need to do is take this paper again and you want to grab a purple bar marker. I'm just going to take the same exact one as from the one from <laughs> what we did yesterday. This is one problem. It doesn't really look like purple. But this will have to do. For me. On camera, it kind of looks like um, black. And on, in real life, it looks brownish. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's bring them on back. I need to bring them back. If you don't know who I'm talking about, it's actually from the Painter. That's not going to be long enough. I need it a bit longer. So, yeah. Oops, I kind of got some on my um, desk. Alright, guys. I'm going to cut this out, and I'll see you back. Alright, guys. It is done. Okay, it's a bit longer than this, so I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it on, and then I'm gonna cut off the excess. Extra, not excess, well, it's the same thing, I guess. Alright. Here we go. Glued up. Now let's glue it on. Oops, it fell. Okay, now it looks like purple now. Okay, it's just a little bit off. So, let's cut off the extra pieces of it. Perfect. Now be careful when doing this, guys. Don't like cut off the hat or anything on accident, because that would be bad and you'd have to like start over again. Basically. So what I did is it kind of was touching the black, so I ripped off the first part because it was just a tiny little strand that was on it. And yeah. Here's pumpkin painter now. What I would recommend doing, guys, is using that black marker or even a black pen and writing their names on the one that they are. Like painter at the bottom and pumpkin at the top. If you want to give them their own names, then you could do that. Painter and pumpkin. Ah, ah. Sorry, guys, a piece of the glue's paper was stuck on me. Boom. And um, there you go, guys. Now, I also want to show you um, another thing I made, but it's not Halloween, it's actually a snail. And I did it kind of like this. 
like with the pencils and gluing and stuff. Let me show you. So guys, here it is, Fun Fans. It's very cute. I gave it a blue shell. And I actually did the smile and eyes with paint markers. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay fun, Fun Fans. Bye.